Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And the Mary Sue is salty. Oh, what about this hour? They're salty that Kirk and Spock aren't a thing in Strange New Worlds. Oh my God. Um, I guess it's, it's strange, but it's not that strange. We're gonna talk about this. Now, here's the thing. I'm gonna be honest. Some of the articles that they've been putting out lately I don't think they actually believe it. I think. Oh no, that's what I think. They, I think they do believe half of this stuff. I really, truly do. There was talk before Kirk was going to appear in Strange New Worlds that he was going to be bisexual. Or based pansexual, on what? Or based on some stupid stuff that some people associated with the show said. Uh, boy, Why? Why would he be? There was no indication of it, and that we have way more documented lore of Star Trek that, you know, has come before it, why the fuck would it suddenly be changed in the middle for no good reason? <laughs> so we've got William Shatner himself uh, a couple of years ago when this was going around saying that the Kirk is definitely, definitely, definitely not bisexual. He's not bisexual. It's like, geez, man. Um, and uh, he pushed back pretty hard against, I mean, Kirk is like the historically a ladies man he's he's basically a, a, a space hoe i mean he's a himbo he's a himbo uh it's kind of a joke but uh, why can't girls have why can't girls have their himbos why do they have to be bisexual i'm, I'm just saying I don't, i've got a himbo no, i'm sorry <laughs> i don't who? because you only like me never mind who <laughs> who are we talking about <laughs> Anyway, let's let's talk about this ridiculous article again. I, I'm like I, I'm having a really hard time believing that real people that exist in the real world can actually believe some of the things that they type on the computer. But here it is. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. You get a woohoo if you do. Now, you have not really been watching Strange New Worlds. You've I've watched... seen a little bit here and there. It's actually pretty good what I've seen It's of it. not bad. It's not great. I mean, I've only seen probably about half the episodes. Okay. Comparatively speaking to other things I've seen lately. Compared to, yeah, compared to Discovery, it's a freaking masterpiece. Yeah, I mean, is it as good as like Next Gen or just... No. No. No, <laughs> so... it's, it's not in the same league as Next Gen or even... I, I would Horrible. Even... I would, yeah, it's not even as good as the Orville. It's not even as good as Enterprise. It's, yeah. But it's, given that the bar is so damn low with Star Trek right now, and I didn't even watch Discovery. I noped out of Discovery. I'm like, there's no way. I watched, like, part of the first episode. I'm like, this sucks ass. I'm not watching this. Same with Picard. I watched the first two episodes of Picard, and I noped out, and I came back for season three. Because uh, it was basically next gen. It was basically just the next gen reu reunion, which is what what I wanted. That's what any everybody wanted. It's like right? we wanted for Star Wars and didn't get. It. Yeah, like they actually gave Star Trek fans what Star Wars fans wanted: the entire cast back together one last time on the Enterprise D. I spoiler, but but what I'm saying, like that, it should have been Han, Luke, Leia, Lando on the Falcon, Chewie, Chewie on the Falcon. One last time. Don't forget him. He always gets screwed over. I know. He didn't get a metal lever either. either. What the hell? Uh, so speaking of screwed over, let's talk about uh, Kirk and Spock getting it on. No. Okay. First of all, nobody. Okay. Most people don't want to see Kirk and Spock as a couple. I'm so tired of these shippers. Well, there's 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 a wiki entry. Of course there is. Spurk. <laughs> I'm sorry. Not to be confused with Spunk. <laughs> Spurk. Oh my god. <sighs> okay. Continue. Spurk. Yes. So this has been a thing for a while, I guess. Spurk. I can't. Yes. Because you cannot have two grown men be friends without wanting That's to do something That's what I'm tired. More. It's not even just men. I'm tired of this. You can't have two girls be friends. You can't have two guys be friends. You, As soon as you're in a close relationship with somebody that's the same gender as you, you automatically have to date them. Wait, what? DeForge? <laughs> <laughs> you don't even have to be human. You can just like... Well, hey, we already established. You didn't, you, hey, you, the you, Orville you, the Orville did it. Well, as I said, we already established that, George, that our uh, data can... Uh, Yes, we can know. deliver. That was in the very first season. Yes, data can deliver his data packets. Mm -hmm. um, that's yeah. So anyway, uh, yeah. So shippers, shippers are mad because they had an opportunity to 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 piss off the chuds and uh, make Spurk canon, and they didn't do it. He's got a girlfriend. Oh my god, how dare he? How dare he? 
It says, come from the Mary Sue. Strange. But you right away, you know it's bullshit. You know it's bullshit. That's what it should be here. The Mary Sue. You know it's bullshit. Mm -hmm. uh, Star Trek Strange New Worlds introduces another love interest for Kirk that still isn't Spock, boldly going where every other Kirk has gone before and nowhere else. Because, it's, you know, that's because he's straight. That's the character. And and he never has sense. So why would he then? That's a stupid. What if you are a legitimately straight person? You're supposed to just go there because it makes the fans feel better? I'm like, no. So... They said that uh, one element of Kirk in his inter interplanetary romancing hasn't caught up to the 21st century yet, and that's gender. Well, that's because he's not in the 21st century. He's in how much? What, what star date are they? I forget what the hell they are in time. But you know what? He's never shown interest in men any other time. So why would he now in a prequel? That makes no. That just makes as much sense as like the Lord of the Rings, where there's suddenly a bunch of diversity that was completely wiped out. It's safe and understandable of a choice for a love interest to give up the notoriously womanizing captain, but it's also on the one that contains the status quo, keeping Kirk's romantic exploits to female characters. Because only. Kirk's straight. The current era of Star Trek, led by writer-producer Alex Kurtzman, is without question the most inclusive toward LGBTQ plus IA characters. Okay, okay that, that might be. But not every character has to be changed now just to make the Mary Sue and people happy. You know, they, they might have changed characters or added new characters that were, you know, representative. But that doesn't mean you take existing characters and change them. Uh, while Discovery had a baker's dozen of queer characters and LGBTQ plus relationships, Strange New Worlds is noticeably devoid of any visible Well, queerness. then go watch Discovery and shut the fuck up. Nurse Chapel, they made her by. I'm just, this is stupid. <laughs> Basically, every Star Trek show ever has to be now, and every character has to be coded some way that I, uh, that's representative, or I'm going to have a shit fit. It would sit and spin. It would be a big step up to reimagine any of the original series players as queer. It would certainly no, invoke. Wouldn't it? That would be that would be pandering and stupid. It would invoke the ire of certain sides of the fan base. No, it would, it would invoke the ire of most of the fan base because it's fucking stupid. I, I hate to break it to this person, but if I've seen people that were that were LGBTQIA, L little P, whatever, I've seen them go on. You know, on. I'm N O P E. <laughs> yes. So. I see them on Twitter and stuff talking about, you know, how they want characters to suddenly be, you know, representative in some way. And they're like, that's fucking stupid because they've never been that way before. Not so why would they be that way? There's a comma there. Why would they be that way now? <laughs> that no, that's that's the reimagining of Forrest Gump. <laughs> fucking stupid. Um, that's though, though fucking Jenny did. Yeah, anyway, Jay, Jenny's fucking stupid. Um, it's like just, Breaking Bad. It's called, it's called fucking stupid. I'm just saying, people that are are not straight will tell you that are fans of franchises will tell you they think it's lazy. They think it's stupid. They think there's no reason to suddenly change the character's identity just to appease people that are mad about it now. Because sort of everybody in the show being some kind of representation checkbox, these people are pissed. You don't have to take existing characters constantly and make them LGBTQ or different race or gender or whatever. Um, looking at you, Shira, the whole fucking show was just how they could make everybody. It was a fuck show, yeah. How they can make everyone some checkbox on the, you know, each one represents one of the colors of the rainbow. And it was for no reason. And how did that work out for you? Yeah, it worked out great. So what, when people are talking about, we need a big step to make these new characters because certain fan, be part of the fan base, I call bullshit because a lot of people who are fans of the show are gay or, you know, a le they're lesbian or whatever. And they think it's stupid too. And they're like, why would you do that? Just to pander. That's dumb. They've never been, that's kind of like, you know, insincere, fake you know, a gimmicky, and it kind of is actually the opposite of the effect you think it's going to have. Sorry, continue. So it's disappointing to see a franchise focused on inclusivity to be so unwilling to extend that inclusivity toward established legacy characters. Because they're established legacy characters for a reason. We've already established who they are, what, if they like pussy or penis, we already established it. <laughs> We don't need to unestablish it, to reestablish it, to make the Mary Sue happy. It's mm. legacy for a reason. Nothing makes the Mary Sue happy. Just make There's new no. characters that are like whatever. Go ahead. You can do for new characters. But you don't touch the old ones. 
Making Kirk like Doctor Who's Captain Jack Harkness would be a logical step for the character and a yeah. bold way for the series to reconcile 1960s subtext with 21st century sensibilities. No, no. And they talked about the very first uh, slash fan fiction, Spurk. Spurk. For as long as the original series has been discussed by fans, there have been ardent debates over whether or not Kirk and Spock are in love. Because you can't be friends with somebody of the same gender as you, or you're clearly, you know, meant to be together. Yeah. Thank God you're my best friend and you're, you have a penis. You've got a hot dog, I've got a bun, it works. I don't have a comeback. <laughs> you said comeback. <laughs> I was gonna make a like a relish or mustard joke, and then I thought ketchup. No, that's I pretty mean, gross. I mean, you know, know, if you were, if I liked women and you had a, a bun and I had a bun, that would be different. But I'm uh, this legacy character is established as straight, so you have a hot dog and I have a bun, and it works. It works, baby. It's it's. Uh, I'm a ballpark. <laughs> I'm a home run. Anyway. Uh, so they said they don't, they can't actually work up the nerve to make uh, Kirk and Spock gay for this each other. This is a nerve thing. This is an established character for decades thing. Okay, they just got done saying that they won't touch legacy characters, right? I think they're talking about the original series, but they they did make they did make Seven of Nine gay, right? Um, but they said, you know, if there were ever a perfect set of conditions to take a beloved ship and at long last make it canon, exploring a Kirk Spock romance on Strange New Worlds would be it. I would agree. I would I would argue completely the opposite. Maybe I'm speaking too optimistically. Maybe, Maybe you're speaking at your own fanfic and out your ass. Maybe Star Trek as a franchise isn't ready for Kirk and Spock quite yet. Maybe they should never do it because they were established to neither one like each other in that way. Oh my God. You know, you could be friends with somebody who's the same gender. I used to have my one best friend for years. Was another girl. And you know what? Never once thought, oh my God, I should like get in there. Not once. And you know what? It didn't work the other way either. Best, best friends. Like when she hadn't seen me when I, I was in France, and I came home and we surprised her and tell her I got home. She thought I was still stuck in France. Long story, but I was stuck in France for a bit. Anyway, I got home and when she saw me, all I heard was her scream my name across me. I showed up at the dance. Let <laughs> <laughs> me clarify. I went to a dance, and she and my sister had her distracted because she knew. I was Whoa! Home. <laughs> the sister knew I was home. Spicy. My friend didn't know I was home. And I showed up at the dance later because my sister went to the dance and met her earlier. And when I came to the dance, all I hear is my name screamed across the floor, and then my friend just like runs at me and jumps on me in a non-sexual way. Never once thought, "Ooh, I gotta make out with her." She never thought, oh, there she is. Like, she came back from France. I'm make out with her. We were just best friends, and that was okay. Slept in the same bed sometimes. It was all good. She didn't try to slip me anything bad. It was all good. We were best friends, and you're allowed to be best friends with somebody of the same gender as you. What's well, it? Yeah, it's interesting. This this their audience is turning on them on the Mary Sue. This guy here is like he's married to a bi woman, and he's like, I'm so tired of the trope that two close friends have to be lovers. Yes. Cap and Bucky, Holmes and Watson, Castile and Dean, yes. Kirk and Spock. Men are allowed to be close like brothers yes. without being gay. Yes. Um, yeah, I had some I had some close male friends. I I'm sure there are people that, there are men out here watching that are gay and they they have somebody they're with, and they have friends that are also men, and they don't have the hots for them. Yeah. And they have friends that are women that don't have the hots for them either. Do you know how tiring it is to constantly hear jokes about how my best friend and I must be effing each other because apparently it's impossible for hetero men to develop deep, loving relationships with one another without sex. Pretty but, offensive. No, that's, yeah, exactly. But no, here's the problem. It's not you. It's people like the Mary Sue that are constantly thinking about who's fucking who that have to put that, that onto everybody else constantly. Yeah. Um, I mean, this is the thing I, I've noticed, like, anytime they reboot a show now, and I, I blame Harley Quinn and Poison Ivy, because there was one episode of Batman the Animated Series where they they basically did a Thelma and Louise, and then the comics are like, well, that clearly means they're gay, because they had a, right. girls, a girls' night out. So that was you just, know? you know, oh, they're lesbians Clearly, now. clearly. Um, you know, Tim Drake and his... Uh, his friend was a Bernard, you know, his friend for years. And uh, both creators of uh, Tim Drake, Robin, and his friend Bernard have said on record that they're not gay. They're not gay. But we got to make sure that, you know, they're gay now because they've been close friends. Because for... people like the Mary Sue. Yeah. It's this mentality. 
I hate to break it to you, but they firmly established both Kirk and Spock as hetero for decades. Yep. Yes, that's what I'm saying. Over and over and over again. To change it now just because you have the hots for some Kirk Spock, Spock slash, which is gross. Yes, thank you. There you go. I'll give you a plug. Oh, my God. Spurk. Oh, he spurked all over him. Oh, I can't. I can't. So I like that delightful. name. I just can't with the name. Making uh, Kirk queer to appease headcan shippers does not seem like a good step to, to take narratively, especially when the driving force behind the pitch. Uh, yeah, making someone gay just to fill a quota seems icky. That's what I'm saying. See it's, Bobby it's, Drake. That's what Ice I'm Man. saying. I mean, to, to, to people that are gay, I would find that, I, I would think that would be kind of like, yeah, icky. Because you're not doing it because the characters, you know, generally gravitate that way. You're doing it just to appease these shippers to shut them up. Like, there's been decades of nothing showing that at all. And now you're just shoehorning it in there. It's not really a representation then. It's just, you know, pandering and bullshit. Add new characters who are queer and give them good stories. Yes. Okay, th these are commenters on the Mary Sue. Their, their, own, their own audience is turning on them. Kirk is heterosexual. Simple as that. Really, if they want inclusion, they should be creating new characters. Yes, exactly. Uh, this is this is the same problem I have with Bobby Drake Iceman suddenly being gay. And he wasn't just gay. He's like flamboyantly gay. I'm like, that is not Bobby Drake. Bobby Drake has a long history of dating oh, women. Long history. Okay. So I get that. I, I get was excited for a moment. <laughs> Whoa. Um, it's, it's a little chilly, though. You know? You know? I don't know. Some people like that. Wouldn't be stuck, though? Wouldn't it suck if, like, you know how you stick your tongue to a pole and it freezes that way? If you it takes something really cold and stick into something that's slightly damp, it's just going to be a problem, and there's going to be a oh, lot of issues. Oh, it's like sticking your tongue on on a telephone. The only way pole. it would work is if you, he's doing it with a, like a fire girl, so that it can stay perpetually. Well, like we he had thought Firestar. Well, there you go. I mean, maybe that would work. Yeah. So this is this is ridiculous. This is I think you're all, kind of icy, and I'm kind of fiery. So I am kind of icy, and it works. It does work. Anyway. It works very well. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thanks for asking. Too much info. No, just... Anyway, uh, yeah, this is ridiculous. This is clearly clickbait. The Mary Sue is owned by, I think it's Gamers Group, which is laying people off right now. And, um, you know, good luck with that. So they're they're being told, I think, to go out and whack the beehive as hard for as they can whack. a certain group of fans. You mean the majority? The majority. The of majority. <laughs> yeah. Oh, here we go. Harl Har Ivy is upon us. Harley exactly. Yes. They went on one girl's night out and now they're lesbians. I went on lots of girls' night out, girls' nights out, still straight. I'm glad. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's the story I'm sticking to. I'm glad. They might not be. Anyway, we're gonna wrap this up. Yes. This is just this is end look, this all of this, all of this is ending. All it took was for the money to run out and for them to fire their diversity officers and for them to walk back stupid decisions on shows to retain their audiences. They cannot afford. Could you imagine the headlines that they shipped Kirk and Spock together? Could you imagine? Oh, people would lose That'd shit. destroy Star Trek. That it would, would destroy like, the entire yeah, franchise. Everybody would be mad about that. I'm sorry. I was looking at the tips here and I find it funny. They're using this retro art of these two women in a time period for a time period that Mary C would have a shit about. I <laughs> know. It's so problematic. I just, found, I just found that funny. So problematic. All right, let's wrap this up. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye. Help support the channel. Go to thereef.support and get early access to podcasts, videos, and other content. That's thereef.support.